Thank you, family and friends, for joining me at Maria Loves to Talk. And what am I talking about? Wait a minute. How are you guys doing? Please tell me that everything is working in your favor. You're doing great. You and your family, you're still eating good from New Year's. You got your little vision board up. You got your little wish list. You're doing your affirmations. Okay, so now. What am I talking about? No, you guys, I'm not talking about candles. I'm not talking about perfumes. I am talking about more relationship stories going wrong, fast food, criminals out there running around, crazy criminals, dumb criminals, low down, dirty criminals. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, hey, you know the drill. Go get you some snacks. Come on back and let's get into this video. The U.S. Sun. Okay, this is strange. Okay, so now we can think. So I don't want to think like any time I see someone that's in designer duds, driving fancy cars, his and her Mercedes, his and her um, Lexus, that they're doing illegal activity. So let's let's get into this one. Inside lavish life of model cop who claim. She didn't know her husband was a drug dealer while they drove a 70, I think this is in euros. I'm gonna have to look it up and see what it is in US dollars. It looks like 70,000 uh, Audi. Woman, this uh, hoochie mama. I don't know, will she be, will she, can you be a married woman and be a hoochie mama? I don't know. Okay, so Met Police Officer Resvender Agalulu. Aga I know y'all gonna give me butchering this woman's name. A G A L L I U was booted from the force after her claims she was unaware of husband Julian's criminal activities were rejected. And anytime you join the police force, and uh, they're both a handsome, nice looking, attractive couple. Anytime you join the police force or before you join, or even if you're going to be a clerk, secretary, or just answer the phone, they want to do, they will do a background check, not on just you. You have to list your family members. They're checking up on your family members, your spouse, everybody in that household with you. So here it says, but the Crown Prosecution Service found there was not enough evidence to prosecute her, so potential charges were dropped. The couple's luxury lifestyle using Julian's ill-gotten gains can now be revealed after he was convicted of conspiracy to supply drugs. So yeah, honey, your husband was a drug dealer and you cannot tell us you did not know. Ex-beauty queen, Agalu, 47, and her husband live in a 5,000 a month rental property despite her police salary. That remin reminds me of a case uh, in Texas a couple of years. I'm trying to think, when did this happen? This was a woman. And I don't know, I don't believe she was doing, she wasn't doing anything with drugs, but she was a, a fraudster. She was fraud, frauding people, common people out of their money. Uh, I think it was with antiques and, and stuff like that. But her husband was way up there on the police force. I forgot what he was. I don't know if he was a sergeant or a commander, but uh, nothing was linked to him. So he didn't get in trouble. It's just her and she did go to prison. So here it says, Agalu home was searched twice. The first on June the 25th, 2020, where officers seized class A drugs, drugs paraphernalia, a large quantity of cash and a police radio. Oh, wow. In a second raid four months later, officers took a set of handcuffs, items of uniform, and a set of case papers and interview discs related to an investigation. Okay. The Met Police said a large number of cannabis plants under cultivation were also found at the property. Woman, well, I mean, how in the world you don't know this? And you know the average woman, we are nosy as, you know what? We are nosy. Yes, we are some nosy creatures. 
and she's a cop and they even more nosier and suspicious. So here, Adjilu was then arrested on suspicion of conspiracy to supply drugs, but she didn't, but was not charged after the Crown Prosecution Service decided the case did not meet the evidential threshold for prosecution. So she was, okay, just giving a little pat. She was hauled before a disciplinary panel where she was found guilty of several charges of gross misconduct. The panel said the clear in inference uh, we draw from the evidence presented is that on the balance of probabilities. Julian, her husband, is a class A drug user and is measuring drugs and it's inconceivable his wife would not know. So they're, not, so they're saying he's a drug user? Julian, who used the Encrochet criminal app for his drug network, will be sentenced on February the 9th. Wow, uh, which we do know, and this sounds like this will be another great lifestyle, lifetime movie. I'm not saying all cops, all people, all sheriff deputies, but we have seen and heard of stories where they uh, take from the drug dealers, or steal the drug dealers' money, or take the... Um, I don't know what you call the escort woman money or the ones that, you know, be walk maybe not just the ones that be walking the street. They even take and steal money from them or they don't uh, label or register what they find. So, hey, we, we have some crooked ones. Everybody's not clean and, and uh, clean cut. A McDonald's customer stabbed in restroom. Employee arrested. This guy looks like a freaking creep. He, he, I mean, really? I knew this one chick, um, it's been like almost 15 years ago, we were staying at an apartment and what had happened? Did I lose my job or got laid off? I don't remember what happened. But yes, you guys, cause you know, I keep it real. I'm not sitting up here faking, putting on the show for you. <laughs> But I had went to, um, I think it was a food bank. And it was, this lady lived in my apartment. I didn't know, cause you know how we chicks, we get to talking. And it was another young lady who lived further down the street. And I think she was from Iowa. And I will talk about their stories when I do my relationship and some other stories when I'm talking about relationships. So the white lady, she lived in my apartment complex. She was married to a black guy. And then the black lady that I was, we were all talking, they, both of these chicks were, were younger than me. She had two kids or was on her third one. The first child was from a black guy. She said they were from Iowa. I don't know anything about Iowa. All I know, I'm gonna keep it real. There's not too many people look like me. And I know definitely not 15 years ago. And then, then the second one was from a white guy and she was getting like a thousand a month child support. And you can imagine 15 years ago, getting a thousand dollars a month child support. And then the third child, she said was from a Hispanic man that she met here in Texas once she moved here to get away from her, uh, the, white, the white guy, her second child's father. But make a long story short, and we'll talk about that in my relationship uh, section, our chat, relationship. Okay, so the lady says, hey, you know what? My man can't even get a job at McDonald's because he's got a criminal record from in the past, like long ago when he used to sell drugs. And I was like, we just kept looking at each other. What? You, are you kidding me? McDonald's? Have the nurse to try to be picky. So I'm looking at this dude here. He looks like a straight up gang member and he looks me. He got a tattoo here. He got all this, I don't know what you call that neck tattoo. He, he looks, I hate to say it, but he looks devilish. Man is recovering tonight after he was stabbed in the face and the neck by a McDonald's employee at the restaurant. It happened at the Elkview McDonald's right at the Crossings Mall around 4.30 this afternoon. Kanawha County deputies say Richard Thornton, an employee at McDonald's, followed a customer into the bathroom, 
robbed him of his wallet, then slashed him in the face with a knife before stabbing him in the neck. They say that Thornton walked out and left the victim behind. Deputies found him at the Speedway on Little Sandy Road. This is video from his arraignment. Now listen to this. They say that he still had the victim's wallet and he had the bloody knife in his possession. Thornton is facing robbery and malicious wounding charges. What? This sounds like something from a horror movie. And he's it, he gets the pinhead of the month, the pinhead of, of the next quarter, the next three months to be that darn stupid and heinous and, and, and dumb. John, John Ebert, the owner operator of McDonald franchises in much of the Eastern United States, including in West Virginia, released the following statement. So he's a big wheel and he is obviously very rich. The safety and well-being of our customers and employees is always a top priority for my organization. We have no tolerance for violence of any kind and we're appalled we took swift action and I can confirm this individual is no longer employed by my organization. We are fully cooperating with the Kiwana County Sheriff's Office. Okay. What's this man named Mr. Ebert? Um, get ready for a lawsuit. A big lawsuit at that. Because I don't know why, unless the guy was a cook. I don't know what the old man told him, but obviously he was trying to steal because why would you follow him in the bathroom and then you have the man's wallet and you step the old man in the face and the neck? Who, uh, who hired this guy? You know, too, a lot of times these little uh, fast food places like McDonald's, Burger King, uh, Whataburger, Wendy's, um, I can't think canes it's one of the places where they hire one person make them the assistant manager and they hire all their friends relatives i know one of the ladies i don't know where it was she was telling me she had to quit one of them i think it was a burger king a burger king because the assistant manager had got to where she was hiring everybody she hired her son the son's a uh, girlfriend, the son's girlfriend's uh, mama, uh, 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 another person. Hey, mama. She was hiring all these people, and it was calling causing chaos because when things happened, she was defending and taking up for him. Police arrest man and woman for allegedly beating McDonald's employee on Long Island. Now, this happened. This one happened last year in the summer, August 2022. I just thought to throw that one in when I saw the, the, the gangster guy. This in Carl Place, Long Island. I ain't never heard of Carl Place. I was thinking, is that burger joint still open? Carl Burgers or whatever? Uh, Heidi Klum used to do their commercials. Island was attacked on the job. 21-year-old Keanu Kuame and 26-year-old Johnny Escobar face assault and burglary charges, as well as a charge of endangering the welfare of a child because the victim is a juvenile. The two are accused of going behind the counter at that McDonald's in Carl Place last night and beating the worker after getting into an argument. They fled the scene and were arrested. Later, police say the victim refused medical treatment. We didn't want one of my, the youngest niece to work um, last summer at a food place or when my older nephew was looking for something. Um, I was just really hesitant because the fast food workers get no respect. No respect. It's just weird how we've come to this because I remember back in the day yeah back in the day when we would go to McDonald's whatever place uh, people was always polite they had sense they didn't uh, abuse the fast food workers or people in them you just you didn't uh, abuse uh, customer service hospitality people now you got fools, you know, you got clowns, now you got uh, 
uh, I don't know, jokers going into the doctor's office, the dental office of all places, acting a fool, cutting up, being abusive to a doctor. And you still think that doctor, I mean, first of all, would you, why would you want a dentist of all people to, to work on your mouth anyway? With them drills and stuff? True story happened at one of my um, sister's clinics where she worked. Uh, patient acting a fool with the dentist. I don't remember. I don't. I think it was a woman. Did I don't, was it? I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. So after he acted a fool and cussed the dentist out, he thought they were gonna pull his tooth. Had tooth pain. And can y'all explain to me, you chicks? Yes, you chicks. Why are y'all going running to the doctor's office with your husband, with your boyfriend, with somebody you just met, somebody you hadn't talked to in a while, and he just called you and said, hey, Elizabeth, hey, Elsmerelda, hey, Lakeisha, I got a dental appointment. Can you come with me? Because I'm scared to be in the dentist's office by myself. Yeah, you know. So uh, the dentist told him, no, get out of here. I'll give you a prescription for the pain, but I'm not working on you if you feel that way. They sent his butt home.